okay. But then, like, I don't know. I just started writing poetry. And I have not written poetry in a really long time. <laughs> like, writing used to be, like, really special to me. Like, poetry is one of my favorite forms of art besides, like, music and stuff. I can't create that. But I used to create a lot of poems, and that was my form of art. And I eventually, like, realized I wasn't passionate about it anymore because a lot of, like, outside influence. And so I stopped writing for years. I did. And when I journal, like, there are moments where, like, I'll maybe write a poem that's, like, a couple sentences. But nothing, like... <sighs> how I used to write I will say like how I used to write like a decade ago no definitely not the way I write now like I've changed my writing style for sure but like I just subconsciously feel like my writing is never good enough and whatever it may be because it was never about that it was never about like oh my god what a great poem it was more so about the way it made me feel and I stopped feeling that way because of like outside things but I just wrote a poem and it just like really hurt it did I guess it needs to happen though like because I remember yesterday I kept holding back tears all day long like literally all day long and normally I just let myself cry but all day yesterday I had this lump in my throat and I just wanted to cry so bad and I wouldn't let myself and then it was finally nighttime I'd say after like 10 hours of just like holding on strong, I finally just let myself do it. I just started bawling my eyes out. And I felt so much better afterwards. And it made me realize that crying is actually helping me. And I know that sounds crazy because I cry on, on here all the time and people talk shit about it, but I don't care. Like it's helping me to like, just like gets out something. So as I was writing this poem, I'm just like crying and it was just like a whole therapeutic experience to be honest. It really was. And I know after this wave of sadness and these wave of tears and emotions, once it goes away, I'll be okay again. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of time and then I'm gonna start filming again. But I just wanted to let you guys know kind of where my head's at currently because I'm just like, really emotional <laughs> lately really emotional i'm going through something that is obviously clearly affecting me and not everyone is affected by the same things but this is uh affecting me in a way that i literally was not expecting so breakups are really hard and depending on certain circumstances it could be harder for others or freeing for others or some people are so happy after a breakup some people are fucking devastated and that's just where I'm at right now and it's gonna be like that for a little bit <laughs> it's gonna be like that for a little bit and I've been getting so many messages on Instagram that have just been amazing and I thank you guys so much but there was one that was just like I appreciate you being so vulnerable and relatable and the fact that you were doing this in front of a large audience just goes to show how strong you are and it just like truly meant the world to me to read those words god i can't believe i just did my makeup and now my makeup's all messed up oh only me you know i just feel like i need to let myself feel because by not allowing myself to feel i'm not gonna heal and as someone who is daily vlogging for 15 days. And I just feel so much better. I told you, it's like that crying session that needs to happen every single day. And I'm fine with that for now. But since we're in my good old room, y'all, there's so many things that I have to like go through and look at and like be sad about getting rid of. But knowing I don't need it or it has memories that I don't want, you know. Um, and it's like, I have to sit here and decide, like, do I want this big guy right here? 
Like this guy's pretty good, pretty decent, super expensive. But there's one down here that is super like floppy and annoying. So I'm over here trying to decide what to do. I am getting rid of these mirrors, by the way. I used to have three of them because I was gonna do this whole moment. They're so dusty right now, but I just like don't care. But I used to have three. I got rid of one. Now I still um, have two. I have this guy and then the other one's right there. So I will be getting rid of these for sure. I'm trying to think of like what furniture I plan on keeping. I have a huge chair in my living room that I'm probably gonna get rid of, which is kind of crazy. I don't know, it's just like memories are held onto certain things. Like I'm trying really hard to separate myself from blankets. <laughs> That's a whole other topic, but there's gonna be a lot of blankets that I'm getting rid of because of memories and stuff because I have this weird like attachment with blankets. Literally been like this since I was like two years old, so don't ask, don't come for me. I'm a weird girly, I'm quirky. So the topic of blankets right now is a hard one. I know, I, I hope someone out there understands. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't know. We'll get there when we get there, I guess. Sorry, you guys hear my dryer in the back, but look at that cutie. Look how sweet, Twinkie sore. She's out because we just took a walk. I'm out myself, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys. I really want to try some of these loaded cauliflower bites, bacon and cheddar. I just figured this was a better alternative to me ordering fast food, which is what I really want to do right now. So I'm choosing to do this instead. Like when I want to eat takeout, it's hard for me not to have takeout. Like <laughs> it's very, very hard. So I'm pretty sure I could just put these in the air fryer. Like it says to use an oven. Um, but then it says cooking in a toaster oven not recommended. I don't know. I'm pretty sure an air fryer is fine. So I'm just gonna make all of them, I guess. But one is like flat. I'll show you guys what they look like. I don't know. I hope this is good. I'm just feeling really, really hungry. And this is when the takeout cravings come. Okay. So this is what they look like. I'm gonna plug this guy in. Power, air fry. I guess I'll just have it on for 20 minutes. I'll check it here and there. Okay, hi. It has been eight minutes and I did some research. If something says oven, you can use an air fryer. And that air fryer is actually give out more power. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I learned something. All right, so it's been eight minutes. I just wanted to check on it. I do use a meat thermometer for like everything. So yeah, this still needs more time. And then it just starts again when you close it. It's pretty great. Hi, we're back. So it's been like five more minutes. I catch myself watching Alex, you guys know, the reaction channel. And I'm just listening to him right now. And he literally just, wait, these are so good. This is what the inside looks like. Wow, that's actually really good without ranch, but I'm a ranch girly. I'm just gonna try a little tiny dollop. Just a little dollop, all right. Mmm, see that is so good. And these are cauliflower instead of like potato. I think I prefer it without the ranch. And then I'm also gonna have a Diet Pepsi, ASMR. And now I'm gonna watch Married at First Sight, season 12. It's a really good season. And eat my food. <sighs> so hot. Okay, so Feline also tried them. She liked them. I'm about to have a couple more because three just wasn't enough. So I'm gonna have three more. <laughs> hello, hello, okay. So the popsicle stick thing, I've been enjoying it and I know a lot of you have too. So um, I actually posted on my Instagram um, for you guys to send me more questions because all the ones that I have now are all weight related. So obviously I'm gonna still answer the ones I haven't done, but it's just gonna be a continuous loop of just like questions, things to talk about. I have thought long and hard about getting a podcast, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like I can yip and yap and talk and just, I literally could talk your ear off. I'm not even lying. Like get me in the right mood and my mouth won't shut. <laughs> 
I just don't think that I want to Brittles Come here baby Walking in front of the camera I just don't think that a podcast is something that I would want to do by myself Self. like having a co-host or maybe just like someone literally there like a host like a two hoster me and someone else rarity <laughs> um i think that would be cool i would totally do it but it's like there are a couple people in my life i feel like we would make a bomb podcast i'm not gonna lie like it would be tea it would be drama it would be hot topics it would be controversial opinions like it would be so good but unfortunately the two people I'm actually thinking of, I don't talk to anymore, so. And the T is, one of them used to be my best friend, and another one of them used to be my ex. So I'm not even gonna say who and what and when and how, because it doesn't even matter, but I'm just saying that it would be a good podcast. For real, for real. Like, I really do love doing the whole popsicle thing with you guys, um, but I just feel like vlogs are very, like, everyday life. You know, your daily life, what you're doing, talk about what you're doing. So some topics just don't come up. And, like, hearing what your audience wants you to talk about, it definitely helps and builds. Just gonna see what the next steps are. You guys, this is all P.O. Box stuff that you guys sent me. So I think I'm gonna open something. What should we open? Which one should we open? So I already pre-opened them so I don't have to do that um, in the video. But I think I'm gonna do this big guy right here and it's heavy. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So it is an Amazon box but I can tell Oh my god, that is just like someone's reused box because there's just like a ton of wrapped gifts. Oh my god, wait, let me open this and then I will show you guys everything. You guys, I feel like it's my freaking birthday. Lizzie, oh my god, look at everything she sent me. I am, first of all, what you wrote in the card, the card is beautiful, what you wrote is beautiful. She spoiled me. We have tons of Bath and Body Works. We have a Thousand Wishes candle, a Relax Black Chamomile candle, another little Thousand Wishes candle. We have three body creams, Into the Stars, You're the One, and Into the Night. Then we have two body butters, In the Stars and You're the One. We have this Celestial Scrub by In the Stars. And then we have In The Stars Fragrance Mist. And you must know that I love Ariana Grande's perfume. So she got me Ariana Grande Cloud Body Mist. I am shook. Doesn't stop there. Also got me this Immunity Shield. It's an essential oil blend, 100% pure. And then I've never had Bath & Body Works um, perfume. So she got me You're the One Bath & Body Works perfume. And then Bath & Body Works has lip oil, which I also had no idea. So she also got me that. And she knows I like squishy things. So she got me this really cute baby a koala, a turtle, and a octopus. And I had to take one out already just to play with it. Look how freaking cute. And then this, me and Feline are gasping. So it's another like fidget thing. But the texture of this cat is so satisfying. We are obsessed. Feline literally, she grabbed it and she goes, it's aesthetically feeling instead of aesthetically pleasing. I thought that was so funny. But oh my gosh, so much stuff. Thank you so much. And then the last thing is this mystery me meow. It's a surprise figure. So I figured I would open it with you guys. So let's see. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's a little cat with wings. Tell me that doesn't look like Rarity and Wasabi like had a baby together. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Lizzie, you're amazing. Thank you so much. You did not have to send me this stuff. As soon as I clicked off of the video, I used the lotion. I did a candle. I tried the lip stuff, which I love. And then I also... Uh, smelled the little like pure essential oil thing i smelled so good it was actually a really calming smell so but i just want to say thank you so so much like from the bottom of my heart
So yeah, I think I just decided I'm gonna start adding um, P.O. Box openings in my vlogs randomly. And I think it'll be fun to go back to that again. So if you wanna send me anything, here is my P.O. Box. Uh, the only thing I request is please do not send me food. Thank you. Okay guys, so let's talk about live streams, destiny, that whole situation. So I was putting a lot of my time into the whole trying to clear up my name and try to share my side of the story of a relationship that I had eight years ago. A relationship that means nothing to me now. A lot of things that Destiny was saying was bringing up obviously old trauma like the things with her mom and Destiny cheating on me and what Destiny did to her dog which I've seen a lot of people validate the reason why Destiny did that and I will forever dis- and Destiny is not in my life. She's not going to be in my life ever. I want nothing to do with her. So for those who uh, have hung on through the last like four live streams and you guys have been missing my videos, I know I've heard you. We are back, we are back to the videos. So I have a schedule in mind. I am thinking I'm gonna upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I know for sure that's how it's gonna be this week, um, but we're gonna see how it goes and what you guys think of it. And we will readjust when the time comes because like if I notice something isn't working out for my channel then obviously we'll readjust and we'll fix it. So another thing I really want to quickly just talk about is that for the last few weeks I have not been on track with my eating. I have gone back to ordering takeout and this is something that I was terrified to tell my dietitian and my therapist. I was very very scared because for the longest time I haven't had anyone like higher up that I had to talk to or tell or really answer to. Like I've had no one that I've had to answer to. And you know, I've only ever had to like come on here and tell you guys like, oh no, like I failed another diet or oh no, I've gained weight. The response is always the same. Um, obviously there's a lot of people who are like, oh my God, it's okay, we understand. Like been there, done that, we're humans. Um, but then there are, majority the majority of people are very like rude and like harsh and oh my god she's never gonna get it she's just gonna die and she, just so like lack of understanding and lack of sympathy or empathy or just like any sort of like understanding that is like always what i've been used to and i have been so scared to like tell you guys and because of that reason and then you know i that that same like scared feeling that I feel uh, towards like telling you guys that I have failed again, um, failed for the lack of a better term here. Um, I, I was feeling that way towards like my dietitian and my therapist and I was completely honest with the both of them. I told them exactly how I was feeling, where I stand, how I'm doing and I was completely honest and the way that they took it like shocked me and like put me back into reality that like YouTube isn't reality. The response that I get on YouTube isn't reality. YouTube isn't what I should be answering to. This is just a way for me to share my life. And yeah, my therapist and my dietitian were like, I am so proud of you for being honest. Like this is like the perfect step to take. It's showing that you are ready. And I actually told my therapist um, a week ago during my therapy session, obviously, but then I told my dietitian through email because I didn't have um, an appointment. And I just wanna to read to you the first part back um, that my dietitian sent me. First of all, I am proud of you. Thank you for your email. Thank you for your openness and transparency with your therapist and now me. This demonstrates to me that you are more ready for surgery now than even some post-op patients I have worked with in the past have ever allowed themselves to be. It takes a lot of courage to open up about your struggles. So I appreciate that you shared that with me. And then there's like four other paragraphs, but those are private. I was shocked. Um, it just, this whole thing where it's like answering to professionals versus like just people in the comments like there's such a difference in between the two and it's like it brought me back to reality where it's like these are the people that i need to be speaking to about my issues they're the opinions that matter and i don't know it just like meant a lot to me and i don't know so i just wanted to like you know get you guys kind of updated on that that like just this whole thing um i've noticed that like what's going on with destiny and like 
live streams and like i don't know me getting like pneumonia again which i am feeling a lot better thank you guys for the well wishes just the mixture of like all that i stopped taking care of myself again that is why i have to choose me i have to continue doing that because the minute i stopped i just they're super comfy and then i also got two uh controllers for the switch because the other one that we have broke and i realized you know what i want one too because <laughs> i just used the controller that came with the switch so i just got two of these which i highly recommend um it broke because it fell by the way but these look so cool once they're lit up like you can literally change the color of your switch controller blue red pink purple or it can be rainbow but this is what it looks like it's pretty cool i'll show you guys when it's turned on so i forgot to show you guys but i don't know if you remember this gift i got from pink sparkles me and twinkie it's a wooden heart. This is where I have it. Uh, in the living room. Isn't it so cute? I kind of want to figure out where she got that and get more. So we are about to play uh, Mario. And I wanted to show you the controllers lit up. So you press this button right here and it changes. See, look at that. So every single day I could be using a green one. I could use a yellow the next day, blue the next day orange it's actually really freaking cool yep i'm gonna be doing pink but you can also do rainbow so yeah we're about to play mario kart i'm gonna whoop her butt you wish <laughs> all right so it is now nighttime, and i just wanted to show you guys what these look like in the dark feline always has hers on um rainbow but i decided pink and purple are my two faves for this i wouldn't expect purple it's just so pretty on here. The pink looks really good. Yeah, let me show them the purple. Let me get there. That's the purple. Look how pretty. I don't know. I'm just like low-key obsessed. Hello. So today has been a busy day. I had an appointment, some errands to run, and then we had to come get Twinkie because she had an event appointment, and that went really well. It was just like her checkup to get shots. You guys know how that goes. Um, she's in her target goal weight, so I'm so proud of her, the little baby. So I also had a dietitian appointment. So normally my dietitian appointments are going to be like once a month, check-ins, but this one was more so because I needed a little bit more guidance and instruction, like um, goals. And yeah. so I wanted to share with you guys the goals that my dietitian gave me and I'm not gonna lie, they kind of shocked me um, because we're all so used to like all these stories, especially like on TV, like Dr. Now, like they they only get to eat like 1200 calories. It's crazy. So, you know, that's what a lot of people assume the the journey to weight loss surgery is like, but it's it's not like that at all, like at all in any sort of way. So I do wanna share the goals, so first things first is these are just like goals to aim for um, 30 grams of fiber, which I've never really tracked my fiber before. So I have no idea how much fiber I am currently eating. 85 grams of fat. That seems like a lot, but I also don't know how much I'm eating. I do know like in the past when I try to like restrict a lot when I'm eating like 1500 or something um i noticed that i eat probably like 23 grams or like 25 grams of fat so um 85 grams seems like a lot especially for like you know my gallstones and such but maybe that's how much i eat on a daily basis so it's going to be very interesting to like track that and see how much i really am eating so the next one is 100 grams of protein which is a lot but it's super easy to do like one chicken breast has like 20 um premier protein shake which is only like you know what they tell me to do and then like hundreds of people tell me i'm doing something wrong it's just it's just hard it's hard to share your journey because everyone thinks that they have the right answer and the right answer is my weight loss clinic so i need to just keep listening to them and um believe in them because 
I know what they're telling me is the right thing and I have to um, ignore the fear, ignore what I used to think about weight loss and all that and just do what they tell me to do. So there is an app that my dietitian wants me to use to like calculate all of this. Um, it's an app that she says that a lot of weight loss patients use or weight loss surgery patients, especially after surgery. So she wants me to use it now beforehand. So I'm gonna do that, set my goals in there. I just really wanted to give that update because you know, it was important to me that you guys know majority of this journey and the things that I need to do. Um, it, it holds me accountable. Um, there are other people out there who want to also get weight loss surgery. And I just feel like there's too much of the wrong thing out there. The and not enough of like, this is the real journey. <laughs> the real journey of someone who's trying to get it. Like this isn't for a TV show. I ain't going to Mexico. Um, this is just the long, real journey. And it's not as crazy restrictive right now. Okay, you guys, my desk is currently going down. So if that's what you hear, that's what you hear. Um, let's do a P.O. Box moment. P.O. Box time. Okay, so the first thing is this bag. Is there a letter? Yes, there is. So this is from Hannah. Home collection. Okay, so let's open what's in here. I already know based on her letter, but we're gonna um, surprise you guys. I'm actually so excited to see what this looks like. Oh. You know what is so crazy? My mom for Christmas got Feline something that is like almost identical to this, but in a different color. Great minds think alike. So this is a rose quartz tree. I think this is so beautiful and I honestly love rose quartz. So in here, the little pamphlet, it says that rose quartz is a stone of the heart, a crystal of unconditional love, tenderness, and healing. Aww. I love this. So I am going to maneuver the rose quartz tree. And I'm going to set her up somewhere special. I'm going to find her a little home. And then I will show you guys in my next video because we're gonna find her a cute home and get her all situated. So thank you so much, Hannah. So next we have this little bag, a little bullet journal. Oh, right, I love a bullet journal and no letter. So I don't know who to thank, but someone sent me this really cute bullet journal. And if you guys know, bullet journal is just a bunch of dotted pages but I love bullet journaling and I think gifts like this is so sweet because it's like you're taking something that I am passionate about and gifting me something involving that. That's super cute. So thank you to the person who sent this. I should have had the light on the whole time. Sorry, sorry. I don't even know if it made a difference or not. But the final thing we are going to do is we are going to, we're going to, I never stood up for myself and it's like standing up for myself does make it seem like I'm ignoring the supporters and I'm trying so hard not to. And that is why I'm trying to find different ways of communicating with you guys and all of this stuff. And that is one of the biggest reasons why I do segments like question of the day or segments with, you know, the voice memos being interviewed by you is I want to build a connection. That is why I love you guys sending me letters and messaging me on Instagram and all of this stuff like I'm trying to build a connection with my audience and the people who do support me and it is hard when there's so many people fighting against you and I'm I'm trying to find sorry it is emotional for me um I'm trying to find a balance sorry I was fixing my bra <laughs> um I'm trying really hard and it's just people weren't you know, made to be critiqued by thousands. And I understand that this is like a choice that I made being a YouTuber, but it's hard. It's very hard. <laughs> and it's like, you only understand unless you've been in that situation. And it's just hard for thousands of people to be so against me. And 
so rude and I don't know. I, I'm trying to do my best, but just know that more than anything, I appreciate my supporters and the people who like see past all the BS and they're able to see my heart. One of the biggest reasons why I stay around. Okay, if I kept talking, I was gonna, I was about to ball my eyes out. Let's do one more. Hi, Queen. I love you so much. I've been watching you since 2018, probably. And I've honestly seen a lot of growth from you. So I just want to ask, how do you feel about it? And where do you see yourself in 10 years now that you've seen all of the progress that you have made over these years? I'm emotional. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much for the question. And, um... It means a lot to me that you've seen growth. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons why my channel is like in its flop era. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Because I I also see growth in myself. I'm not perfect. And there's a lot of growth I need to continue doing. And I'm proud of the growth I've made. Because I go back and I look at some of my videos from years ago. And I'm like, yikes on bikes. <laughs> like... And it's like not it's not even things that I've shared on YouTube as well, like private things. Like I have grown a lot. Like I'm 32. I'm going to be 33 in December. Like the person I was in my mid-20s is not the person that I am now. And I know that's hard for a lot of people to, you know, grasp onto. And a lot of people go through a lot of changes, especially around your early 30s and stuff. So... Yeah, I feel like I'm rambling, but um, where do I see myself in 10 years? I want to be the healthiest and happiest I've ever been. I hope to have a home. I hope to be married, happily, healthily married. And I really, really hope that I've adopted. God, why am I so emotional? <laughs> like, what is happening? Um, okay, wow. I just... I've always dreamt of being a mom and uh, I kind of got that stolen from me when I got cancer. So that was hard. And um, it's like, there's so many criteria you have to make to adopt, which I understand, but I also don't at the same time because like, I feel like it's too strict to adopt, but too lenient to foster. And there's like a lot of foster homes out there that are not good. They're abusive in every sort of way you can think of. Um, been there, done that. I was in foster care from 8 to 18. So I, I know how that goes. Obviously right now, I I would not adopt because of my weight. I, I would not be able... Like as a YouTuber who's been doing this for a while, I still to this day get very shy and awkward if you will when they ask like what do you do i'm like oh yeah i make youtube videos <laughs> i don't know i just feel weird um i guess i naturally even giggle when i say that because the person was like why'd you laugh <laughs> i was like i don't know it's just weird i don't know i guess i just get a little bit embarrassed but Hi, your next upcoming best social media influencer here, Queen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just thought that was funny, so I wanted to share that with you. So I'm a social media influencer as my career. I don't know. I'm just grateful for you guys. I don't uh, share it enough because sometimes it's just I feel bombarded with sadness because people think I'm someone I'm not but for those of you who see the real me and watch me in silence or message me and just are the sweetest I appreciate you guys like truly and you know what I appreciate the haters I appreciate your guys's views too I just don't appreciate your comments that's all or the harassment like, once it starts leaking into, like, personal life, it's like, really? Calm down, folks. I feel like I was meant to be on YouTube. And I just feel so lucky. 
like every single day that like I remember you like years ago before like YouTube was my actual job if anyone ever asked me like or if I'm filling out like a guided journal which I love doing if the question is like what is your dream job or career I would always say I want to be a youtuber like to be able to pay my bills and just be my own boss technically because truly that's that's honestly the case I am my own boss you know I get to choose my own hours you know and I just I love filming and editing and I have met so many wonderful people like my greatest friends that I have right now are because of YouTube. I don't want to get mushy gushy, but I'm just like really grateful. Like truly, truly. So thank you guys. Oh, and I also forgot to mention. Um, so you guys know how my psychologist, wait, I'm hot, oh, is on maternity leave. Maternity leave. Um, she puts me up so I'm not like without appointments with another psychologist this one's a male and I have never my whole life like I started going to therapy when I was literally nine years old because I was put in foster care whatever whatever but um I've never had a male psychologist like and for me I think because of my childhood and some things that have happened I'm locked something to think about so if you guys remember my last vlog i was deciding if i wanted to continue my 100 days of weigh-in through video like i'm gonna do it regardless of my personal life i figured i will continue it through video form as well but i'm just not going to talk about my binging i'm not going to talk about my medical stuff i'm not going to talk about my doctors nothing like that anymore because i just don't feel comfortable at this point but today was day 16 November 18th, 505.6. Hello. So it's not even my birthday yet, but Feline is insisting I open my birthday gift. So she was like, I want to see your reaction. So put your phone on the tripod. I'll be right back. She left and she shut the door. So yeah, my birthday's coming up. I'm gonna be 32. Oh my god. Literally in five weeks from now. <laughs> my birthday's in five weeks. And she said, we need to do this now. I was wearing eyelashes, but I took them off. So I'm looking a little crusty busty. Me just waiting patiently. Can anyone else do this? I mean, obviously, a lot of you can, but... Taco shape. You coming? I'm ready. You sure? Yes. Be positive. I'm sure. Close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? They're I want to open them so bad, but they're closed. Open them. No, you didn't. Is that for real? Babe. Wait, I'm getting actually emotional. Hold on. Is that the real deal? No, it's not. Wait, why do I feel like I'm turning so, like, I feel so fiery hot right now. Are you serious? It's the real deal. That's what that big box was. Oh, you guys. It's going down. It's going down. my gosh are you serious did you oh my god you knew this is what i was getting you i had no idea i am shooketh i had no idea you guys the titanic lego it's what i've been wanting wait i think i'm in shock <laughs> i there's a freaking fur ball right there but yeah i think i'm in shock baby baby wait 
Aww. Okay, you guys, I just gushed for like 10 minutes. <laughs> but you know what? I am so shocked. It said she could tell that I was shocked based on my first reaction, but now I'm like all giddy and I tried to lift up the box and it's too heavy. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, oh my God, it's like all kinds of ways to open this, okay. Oh my goodness. So there's like several boxes, which I was definitely expecting. I'm gonna get these out now. I cannot, I cannot wait any longer. Someone has decided that the box is hers. Oh, big yawn. Oh my goodness. So that's her box now. So I opened the first box and it says book one, which means I'm pretty sure the other two boxes also have books. So this is just, it is the next day. No, I'm not wearing the same thing. I'm wearing a maxi. I know it's not that attractive. So it turns out that I actually have lipedema in my stomach. So that's why my stomach, watch, let me show you guys. That's why my stomach goes out right here. Well, this lighting is not it. Lighting angle. There we go. This part right here. I didn't know you could have it in your stomach, but turns out you can. I know it's not like attractive to see. I'm sorry for that, but I am who I am. Okay. So I do notice with my weight gain that my stomach has gotten bigger. Obviously, my breathing's gotten worse. Obviously. Anyways, I just actually got out of the shower and I used something new on my face where usually your girl is hesitant on that. But it's making my eyes burn a little and I feel like a little burning right here. But we're going to get through it together, folks. Did you hear that? Every time after I get out of the shower, it isn't five minutes later. And water just comes out of the faucet. I don't know why. It's like the extra bits that didn't come out during my shower. I don't freaking know. If anyone wonders what I smell like, besides clean. Today we are using a Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower Body Spray by the good old Bath and Body Works. And if anyone's curious what my bathroom smells like, it is also Bath and Body Works, but White Barn, the white t-shirt spray. Oh, smells so good. So you guys, look. Feline just finished the Lego wall map. Is that what it's called? Yeah. That sounds right. Do you guys remember when I started it? And she wanted to finish it. So day number 17th, November 19, I weighed in at 504.6. And yesterday was a successful day with intuitive eating. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to talk about, you know, binging anymore or like how I'm doing in that regard or like medical talk or doctor talk or anything like that. But uh, it's crazy that I said I didn't want to do this anymore. But then today, since I'm a little bit behind on all my videos, um, I the video that went up, was me showing you guys what I ate during a binge and I am reading the comments because I want to respond to some I want to heart some I want you guys to know that I see you hear you and I know there's a lot of supporters out there and I really want to see your guys's comments and I want us to engage and um, have a better relationship with one another and obviously while doing that I see some of the you know horrible things that people say and so I showed you guys what I binged on and I am being called a liar saying that's not a binge. I am being told this is insulting because, you know, I have binge eating. I have an eating disorder and it's insulting that you would call this a binge. This isn't you binging. It has 
honestly <laughs> threw me for a loop. I'm going to be honest because it was very, very hard for me to show that binge. And I want to say straight up right off the bat here that binging is different for everybody. Um, the way that people's head spaces, the things that they eat, um, how they feel, how fast they eat, etc., is different for everybody. And in that moment, I was in a haze where I wasn't thinking clearly. I didn't care. Um, all I cared about was the food that was in front of me. And I really quickly wanted to show you guys what I was eating because I, I have reached this point where it's like, I don't want to be ashamed as much as I don't want to talk about it because of this. <laughs> you guys are horrible. Not all of you, but a large quantity is horrible. And I've reached this point where my binging used to be astronomically larger than what it is now. I have tried to express that to you guys. I have showed you guys actually in the past, like years and years ago, what I ate during a binge. It's not the same. I have tried to explain that my binging is a lot smaller now um, in quantity, thankfully. What I ordered was a binge. What I ate was a binge. And for people to sit there and just say this is insulting because this isn't a binge, it's painful because it took me you know, a couple years. It took me some time. It took me having a psychologist who specializes in binge eating disorder for me to not only binge less frequently, but for me to eat less during a binge. It has taken time. It's taken work. It's time and work that you guys haven't seen, but it's time and work that I've put into it, that I have seen, that I have felt. And it is so I don't care how much fiber, like truly I don't. Um, so I just count straight up carbs and I'm eating below, like my goal is below 50 grams, which is keto. But I've been eating below 30 grams just naturally based on the foods that I'm choosing to eat. So I am doing keto, yes. Keto, not low carb. Low carb is anywhere 150 grams or lower of carbs. That is what is considered low carb, but I eat below naturally, below about 35, 30. So it is very much keto. So I am doing keto, which <laughs> never in a million years did I think that I would be saying that. It is so freaking weird to me. And how easy it's been is the part that is the most shocking how easy it is for me to make protein and veggies and actually enjoy it. <laughs> like, it's pretty wonderful to be honest. Um, like, I don't have to count calories or anything. Counting calories for me is always very much a trigger to binge. So I feel like not having to do that has helped drastically. Like, honestly, if you've ever thought about doing keto, I recommend doing it. I do want to do more like what I ate today moments because why not? I think they're fun to film and I've had a lot of people say that they have started because of me, which is awesome. So I kind of want to give you guys more ideas of like what I eat. I do eat a lot of the same things daily because it's just like become routine and plus I'm actually enjoying the things that I'm making. What has been my favorite is stir fries with like any meat. Making a stir fry, oh, it just feels like I am actually a chef at the hibachi restaurants. <laughs> but anyways, I'm rambling. I'm going to have more of these. But yes, I am keto queen. Keto queen. Low carb, unfortunately, does not work for people with lipedema. So it's just too many carbs. Who would have thought that Evelyn Reed would ever say that? Like, ma'am, what? It's so weird. It's time, folks. I feel like a mini brands channel. <laughs> this is like how it looks. All right. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I, I don't know why I'm so pumped. Okay, let me get this off first. I got it open. Oh my God, I forgot how to do this. Oh wait, is it this, fella? Yes, and then it all goes loose like this. Do you see it? I'm having Feline look because I do it. She's never seen such a thing. Here we go. 
Oh, there's more than one toy? Yeah, there's five. We have a robo fish. <laughs> Wait, this is so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have a robo fish. Oh my god, these are so cute. I don't know what that is. No one cares. No one cares. We have. Oh my god, we have a little thing of Crayola chalk. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's funny. These are popular right now. These little uh, rainbow corns is so fun. Oh my gosh. I think I have to get another one soon. Hello, hello. I'm actually getting ready to go to bed. And I have completely misplaced my makeup remover. I love that for me. But I wanted to talk to you guys. Ooh, I have to sneeze. Is it gonna come or is it gonna go? <sighs> Who else likes sneezing? Okay, it disappeared. Now that's unfortunate. So I don't know about you guys, but I have this thing called my chart. It's where you can actually see all your results um, when you go to the doctor. Like I can see my x-rays, I can see my CT scans, I can see the summaries, I can see the notes of what the doctor said, I can see my results, my numbers, everything. My CT scan results are up on my chart and me and Feline were looking at them and it is the weirdest thing <laughs> to see. Like I have like a skeleton inside my body. Like you don't realize how small your skeleton is until you see it, you know what I'm saying? Very strange. Also, I noticed that I get flooded sometimes with like certain topics at one time and then it makes me realize, oh, it must be a reaction channel talking about something. Is diabetes like a new topic of discussion? Because I said I've been thirsty since starting keto. I started keto over a week ago. It's been way over a week now and I think it was day two after I started keto, I became more thirsty because I was getting rid of water that I usually hold on to. And the lipedema specialist said that's going to happen. And it did. And by drinking more water, I was peeing at a normal rate, which for me is more than usual. It's not that I'm peeing a lot. I say the word a lot because it's more than what I'm used to. Normally I pee two to three times a day, not gonna lie, because I retain so much water. But then now that I'm drinking more fluids, aka water instead of like diet soda and such, I'm peeing about six times a day. And that's very natural. Actually, you know what? I have my laptop in here. <laughs> I'm curious, how many times a day should you pee? There it is. Oh! <gasps> between six to seven times in a 24 hour period. Uh, between four to 10 times a day can also be normal. Okay. When normally I would pee like three times. So now that I'm drinking more water, I'm able to lose more water. And that is also a really big thing that keto does is it helps people lose a lot of water, especially in the beginning. So this rumor that I have diabetes, you guys, I can't tell you how many times I've been tested and how many times my A1C and my glucose and <laughs> All of that has been normal. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I don't, like, I don't know what it is. I'm